As everyone starts to fill into the room, I just want to invite and remind everybody if uh, you have your device turned in or tuned in to um, like a sound device, like a set of Bluetooth speakers and or headset and definitely get a little cozy spot set up. Maybe if you're watching on your computer, if you could turn off or mute your notifications. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome. As you're all filing in, just get comfortable. And I just want to remind everybody to make sure to grab a good set of headphones or have your device plugged in to a good speaker and definitely get cozy for this one hour session with us all. We're going to wait for everybody to come into the room before we get started. So as everybody's starting to file in, just get your little launch pad set up for this session and make sure to just get some pillows, maybe a yoga mat, get cozy, make sure your devices, uh, the notifications are turned off and you have a headset and your device turned in, oh, plugged into like a good set of speakers before we get started. And we're just kind of waiting for a few more folks to fill in before we get going. Happy International Women's Day to everyone. Just super grateful to be here with Changing Tides Foundation, Kind Humans, and all the other beautiful panelists who are on this call today. Grateful for technology that it's allowed to bring us together in this super sweet way. And we're all going to introduce ourselves shortly. We have some epic, radical women here, and we're all filling in together. And uh, it's just wonderful to be gathered in virtual community in honor of all the women in the world and our Mother Earth. So welcome everybody. And uh, for those of you just joining us, making sure to have your device plugged into a good set of speakers or a headset so you can optimally enjoy the experience and definitely have your notifications muted for this one hour session we have together today. And we're just waiting for a few more folks to fill in. So just kind of grounding yourself wherever you are for this session today. Just honored to be a part of this awesome panelist of radical women and dudes and keeping the good vibes flowing. Absolutely. Thank you, Justin. Right on. Yeah. Kind Anybody? Humans is doing amazing things to help shift the future with water filtration, with what we're doing here in San Francisco with City Surf and beyond. There's so many different programs going on. A lot of people are overwhelmed with what's going on with our climate, with what's going on with the lack of resources and with what's going on politically and economically and socially. People are wanting to shift that. It's really awesome that Kind Humans is both helping to document those stories and helping to share them. So people can not only understand that there are positive things happening out there, but they can also understand how to get involved and help the revolution for evolution. Yeah, welcome everyone. Um, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, my name is Leah Dawson. Uh, I'm from Changing Tides Foundation and we're joined here today by the amazing Cassia Mater for uh, an, an incredible uh, sound healing experience um, to celebrate this uh, amazing day of International Women's Day, uh, a day for us to reflect on the majesty that is uh, the woman and um, the ability for 
the woman to bring creative life into this planet and um, to persevere through uh, the trials and tribulations that women have faced throughout history. Um, it is with great joy that we all come here today to celebrate womanhood and whether we're a woman or a man or anywhere in between, um, recognizing that this sense of nurturing and uh, communing with others and this sense of intuition is something very inherent to being a human being. And today is about celebrating that uh, and allowing the world around us to be our medicine and our healing sources. Um, and so I'm so excited to be here today with Changing Tides Foundation and with Kind Humans. Uh, thanks for organizing this um, to, to bring us all together from all over the world and um, you know from, from different backgrounds and experiences to all enjoy the, the beautiful medicine that is, uh, that is sound. So we have an amazing group of panelists um, today that will We'll uh, introduce um, ourselves and I'll, I'll pass it over to our amazing executive director, Becky from Changing Tides to uh, lead us into the next part. Good evening, everybody. Um, I am thrilled to be here in this space with all of you gorgeous women, um, powerful boss babes uh, on this amazing, day of celebration of women. Uh, I think, you know, we at Changing Tides Foundation, our, our whole mission is to empower women to protect the planet. So for us here, it's it's International Women's Day all day, every day. Um, but it's, it's always nice to have a day, right? And so uh, we're going to take advantage of it and uh, invite you guys to, um, to drink it in with us. So um, I've done a couple of sound baths with Cassia and it's literally a blast off to another planet. And I feel like um, it's a beautiful way to, to tune into something and tune out of the world and, and tune into yourself. And, um, and we had a few people ask some questions. So I'm gonna read one off from Rita. Um, and the question is, what is one thing we can do every day to bring balance to our lives? I think that's a great question. If, if I ruled the world, it would just be surfing every single day. Um, but I can't do that every single day because we have, you know, we have shit to do. So um, basically, I would say one thing um, is really to connect to your breath. You can do that from anywhere at any time. Um, so I feel like, you know, just taking a few deep breaths in and out really recenters you, it recenters me. And I feel like that's probably a practice that we can all take into our everyday lives and, and do from wherever we are. Um, as soon as we feel kind of out of whack, just connect to that breath again and, and center ourselves. So yeah, I'm so excited to share this space with you all again. Gotta remember that mute. Thanks y'all. Um, my name is Chanel Sladix. Um, snowboarder business owner of Simply Straws with my mother. And uh, Shirsty and I also co-founded a company called Present. We do outdoor women's adventure retreats. Um, come join us if you want to get outside and get weird and meditate on mountain peaks and fun things like that. Um, or drink out of, you know, fine glass straws here in uh, sunny California. Um, yeah, I have also had the pleasure of joining Cassia's sound healing groups and uh, it's an honor to get to always unite with these other lady bosses um the feminine energy is so powerful and divine and divine and um it's nice to take a second and sell that even though like he says i think all of us on this panel celebrate women every single day in our activism and our attitude and our um the way we move through life and uh hopefully we all continue to inspire each other um, looking at the questions, um, I'm going to go with Kanisha. Any tips on being able to free your mind to make way for uh, and fully benefit from yoga, meditation, general wellness, and self-care? I'm going to kind of combine that with my other main question from Mar uh, Mary, which is how do you stay away from feeling overwhelmed with all the projects, business, social, and family life? Because I, I think everything's so interconnected and holistic. 
um for me like nature is my church so like if i don't get outside and like ground and earth or like hug when i was competing i'd always like hug a tree before and just like like check into the forest field because it's so easy to disconnect especially in an urban setting you've got you know concrete separating you from that earth element that charge that is so primal within all of us um so like getting in the ocean is like invigorating getting in the mountains like finding silence and if you're in an urban setting you know where is a plant that you can connect with you know like when i when i would go to new york city and feel ungrounded i would always find a tree to, to touch and that was just really powerful for me to take some breaths with the, the trees because there's that powerful exchange of oxygen that makes me feel connected to that divine design so for me like nature is just really the s of what uh, makes me feel human and makes me feel alive and there's so many ways to find it through gardening through sport i know everyone on this panel finds it through you know sport and connection to the earth we're all very um passionate to riding that wave whether it's frozen or um moving a distant windstorm so uh hopefully that answers your questions and i'll pass it off to shirts yeah hi everyone um i am very honored and grateful to be here and grateful for technology as leah mentioned that we're able to tune in from all corners of the world and even in times where we can't physically be together and be connected and give hugs we can still be connected uh through the digital world and with that said we can also um maybe this is a time to connect deeper within ourselves too. And then we'll feel that connection to each other even stronger when we come out of this at some point. Um, <laughs> with that said, I am from Norway and I am has a, have a background as a professional snowboarder. I've done some Olympics and won some cool medals and that's been a really fun journey. Um, but I set out on the, that journey with kind of one philosophy um, at my heart, which was follow your heart and do whatever is fun. And if it's no longer fun, find something else to do. And so for me, that's a big part of mental health because um, often we become very serious when we're stressed and we're trapped in our minds and we're trapped in the conditioning of our minds. And then we think we have to do so many things and accomplish things to be seen and to be something and to be worthy. So like coming back to that playfulness, is like a fun way for me to integrate mental health into everyday life because I can like, you know, go out in nature and do an activity or if I sit on my computer, I make sure to like Becky mentioned, take some deep breaths, but then also like take some dance steps, like move with music, have fun with whatever I'm doing. And that really has become kind of um, a really important aspect to what mental health means to me. And I got a question from Nora that says, how do you take care of your mental health? Well, I try to look at mental health as like um, brushing my teeth. It's something that I don't skip. Um, I do it because it's good for me and it's good for my, my health. So I've understood that mental health is not just something that's, um, that's there and that fixes itself. Like I have to be active in the process. So I try to integrate specific techniques like a meditation technique or a breathing technique or uh, other fun techniques again like bringing the fun into it and having playing with it it's Ex like exploring what that is and um, physical health and mental health is surely really interconnected so every time i move i feel like i also do something good for my mental health <laughs> i agree so elena is up next right yes that was lovely girls um, hi, everybody. I am Elena Haidt. Um, I am also a snowboarder. I think you guys, you crunched us all together, the snow people and the surf people. <laughs> um, I have been a professional snowboarder for, gosh, 18 years now. Um, I've been to two Olympics, um, a lot of X Games, along with Shirsty lots of medals and fun things, um, US Open championships, things like that. Um, I recently kind of left the competition world of snowboarding for um, kind of a dream that I had to step into big mountain backcountry snowboarding. And uh, it, this is, I'm about three years um, from retiring from competing and 
um, have uh, been featured in a couple movies, just finished a feature film um, called Blank Canvas that you can check out that really um, highlights a lot of my transition and what it takes to really follow your heart into something that's super scary and unknown, um, which really kind of ties into, I think a lot of, um, you know, what everyone's talking about here today and uh, wellness and self-care and, and really integrating these practices that help you understand where your highest purpose is and where you can be your best person. Um, and I think that for me, there is almost nothing as important as making sure that you have time for yourself to block out the noise and really hone in on what it is that you're feeling. Um, as someone who travels a lot for work and is around a lot of other people, I, I find that I pick up um, people's energies a lot. And sometimes I'll be feeling things or acting certain ways really just because I'm picking up on it from other people. And so um, for me, I really try to set aside time every day just to to cancel out and try to come back to, to ground zero and really feel what it is that I'm feeling so that I can make decisions from, um, from a place that's truly me, uh, which I find is, is hard sometimes. So um, one thing that I really find that helps me a lot are Epsom salt baths for clearing energy. Um, and it's literally my go-to whenever I feel like I'm taking on other people's emotions or thoughts. And I find that women do that a lot more than men. Not, not that men don't, don't do it, but I think as caretakers, we tend to like take on other people's stuff a lot. So um, I'm a big fan of the bath. <laughs> It's a great self-care practice. Um, but yeah, super excited to be here with all these lovely badass women. Um, and yeah, excited for Cassia's offering tonight. Um, I don't know who's next, but take it away. Hi guys, I'm Susie, co-founder of Kind Humans. Um, I love, love, love all these gals on this panel. Um, obviously so inspiring and, and really part of the reason that we started Kind Humans was to be able to, you know, help tell their stories um, and, and, and really show the world that they are, you know, the role models, right? Um, I just, I love how we all bring a different perspective to this discussion. And my, I think my perspective is that of a mom um, it's, it's easily my most in, important role right now, um, is, is just guiding two, uh, two little girls through, um, you know, their early childhood. And I think as women, we can easily fall into this cycle of, um, caring for others and not thinking about caring for ourselves. Uh, but that may not serve us in the long run. Um, that's one of the things that, that I learned is you know, being, being a mom and um, the early years of motherhood is that you get, you know, so focused on making sure that others are happy that you don't make yourself happy first. Um, and so how, how do you integrate this into your life? Well, for me, it was like letting go of that guilt of not being the person that was always taking care of others. Um, that helped me immensely and setting aside time to you know, just have a cup of tea or coffee in the morning um, while you got your day going, um, meditating, working out, all these things can just kind of help you ground yourself in the moment and take a little bit of a break, which ultimately I found out makes me a better mom. So um, uh, one other thing too, something to remember, um, cause I know I'm sure there's some moms listening in uh, to this, that you know, children do as they see, not what you tell them to do oftentimes. So if I'm not here taking care of myself, you know, what, what are they, what are they going to do when they grow up? You know, I want them to be able to, to make sure that they take care of themselves and love themselves first, because ultimately if we love ourselves, then we can spread that love to others. So um, Layla asked, what are your best zero waste tips for self-care products? 
um, this might be like my favorite question of all time because uh, for kind humans, I'm, I'm, you know, curating products that are good for yourself, the planet and for others. And that means, you know, incorporating some zero waste or low waste products into your routine. So I'd say, you know, if you can like do it yourself and make your own products, that would be amazing um, to help kind of cut down on packaging and other types of waste. But for me, and I'm, I'm sure for a lot of other people, that would almost like, wouldn't give me enough time to do the actual self care. <laughs> so if you don't have time to do that, um, or if you only want to do that for certain items, I'd say, you know, make sure that you look for companies that are very forward thinking on their packaging and their ingredients. Um, things that are non-toxic are ultimately better for you and the planet. Um, you can switch to, you know, things like high bar shampoos or um, conditioners or just bar soaps in general are lower waste. Um, another br brand that we have on Kind Humans that I love is River Organics. All of their packaging is um, is, is all paper so that you can just easily, uh, you know, when the end of life is, when it's done, that it become posted. So those are my, some of my tips and I hope that helps somebody out there today. Okay, Cass, take it away. Well, first of all, what an honor to be here with everyone celebrating the feminine energy and whether you're in a female body in this life or um, we're just honoring the, the many men who are also on their, this call tonight and, and their divine feminine energy, um, you know, that exists, uh, you know, the woman, the listener, the caretaker. Um, and, and that's something that I've heard from everybody speaking. It's like, well, you know, how do we be of service and show up for our loved ones and our friends and our communities while not taking it on? How do we be screens without being a sponge? How do we hold space without uh, metabolizing somebody else's um, content that maybe they need to get through for however, um, you know, whatever information or, um, or tools may be there for them. So um, just kind of honoring all of that and honoring, um, you know, the opportunity that it is to support others without taking it on. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to, to mention that. And um, I'm a surfer, Leah and I actually do really awesome uh, uh, retreats together, bringing people together as well. Um, you know, I'm a kind human ambassador. I'm grateful to be with each and every one of you. I'm also an ambassador for Changing Tides Foundation and just, you know, just, just so grateful for so many different organizations teaming up and collaborating and co-creating and, you know, supporting each other and humanity as a whole and speaking out for what's uh, what we wish to call in to this new world that we're all co-creating together. So um, I'm also um, a sound practitioner and I work as an energy medicine practitioner as well. And um, Sophie had a great question, what is sound healing? Well, everything from like a quantum physics realm, everything that exists in our known universe is sound and vibration. Uh, and science has really come to, uh, you know, quantify this in, in quantum, the quantum space of understanding on a scientific realm. Uh, and many ancient people knew this um, and were aware of this. And truly the voice is the first sound healing instrument, our own voices. And um, I love to kind of give people takeaways from this session. Uh, I'm sure everybody on here has watched The Sound of Music. And truly we are music. We are all co-creating this beautiful orchestra that is life. And just like a guitar goes out of tune, our unique and beautiful instruments can also go out of tune if we have an argument with somebody that we love. If we, um, you know, are going through something hectic in the day or just like our energy field is off. So really vibrational therapy and sound healing gives us an opportunity 
to retune and fine tune our unique and beautiful instruments each and every day. And you can go to a sound bath, you can get a crystal bowl and, and vocal tone yourself into peace and harmonic resonance. Um, and you can also use your own voice to do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti yourself to peace and balance. So, um, you know, I, I invite people to, uh, you can get a very cheap um, app on your phone that's like a guitar tuner. And the note of C is your root chakra. And you can tune your voice to that C tone and just like tone, you know, in whatever way, like an ah uh, or yam. Um, yam is the heart seed sound, Y A M. People say om all the time, which is is really more kind of like your crown chakra and, and third third eye uh, harmonic resonance um, signature. So I invite everybody to you know check into yourself and and work with sound in your own way and work and tune your own voice with your own voice. And you can really kind of focus on each of those energy centers, also known as chakras. Um, if you're like driving around and you hit all those red lights one day and you're like heading to a meeting or you know you're picking up your kids from school and you've had like a hectic day or or maybe somebody kind of burned you uh, in the lineup or on the mountain in some way um, and you're feeling kind of frazzled or you're feeling like you're out in the world picking up other people's energy in a way you can always use your voice and your own breath to retune yourself and ground yourself in each and every moment so that's both like a little kind of life hack as well as um, an opportunity to really be part of the creatrix um, of your own you know divine harmonic resonance and and really use your own voice as a healing tool each and every day um, if you want to it's an invitation so uh, today, I'm, I'm just so grateful to share this sound session with each and every one of you. I have a bunch of uh, Tibetan uh, singing bowls as well as crystal singing bowls um, and some other instruments that we're going to help you share this session with. So I invite everybody to get comfortable and we'll drop into the sound session. Starting to relax into wherever you are right now. Inviting everyone on this call to close your eyes and take a big, long breath together. And as we start to take a breath together, just visualizing everybody on this call, connecting and light and sound, inviting each and every one of you to feel into your breath and feel each and every one of your breath expanding the energetic space around you. Feeling the ground beneath you. Feeling held by the beautiful, magical, feminine energy of Mother Earth. Feeling the support and nurturing guidance of nature. feeling into an intention for yourself for this session. Inviting the sound to support you in letting go of whatever you wish to let go of.
breathing in the light of sound to carry towards you whatever is aligned with your intention and your greatest good and highest purpose. As a mother, as a daughter, as a sister, as a friend, as a lover, as a creator.
Taking a few more deep inhales and exhales in this space. And on the next inhale, just breathing in love and gratitude to every cell of your being. And on the next exhale, just extending that to a loved one, to your mother, to your grandmother, to your sister, to all the line of female energy that came together through time and allowed you to be here now. On the next inhale, just breathing in that love and gratitude once again. And as you exhale, extending it to a sister, one of your friends, somebody who inspires you. And on your final inhale, again, just that love and gratitude for taking the time to be here in community tonight. And on your last last exhale just extending that to mother earth the mother of us all each and every one of us for this beautiful home for always being there for us just sending earth your love and gratitude in this moment and just slowly coming back to the room coming back to this moment now with thanks to community, with thanks for each other, and just feeling this web of light that we're all weaving together on this call tonight, supporting us, supporting humanity, supporting the earth and all life. Taking one last inhale together and on the exhale, let us all yom together. Yom is the heart seed sound is the earth. So bringing it in, inhale. On the exhale, yom. Thank you, Cassio, that um, I was so necessary for for life <laughs> and for balance. And thank you for playing with such intention and with such love and light. And um, thanks to every single one of you who has joined us um, for this special uh, digital experience that um, uh, definitely quieted my heart and mind, and um, I, I hope it did the same for you. And know wherever you are that um, you have a community and love and light um, here with us, and and that uh, we're grateful for your time sharing it today, and and having you celebrate International Women's Day with us, and. Um, to all the folks at Kind Humans, um, thank you for your for your commitment towards uh, building a, a non-toxic marketplace and and media to go along with it that really shares um, the simplest, most powerful message of being kind. Um, with <laughs> it, it really is the medicine and the and the change making power. So, um, yeah, from all of us at Changing Tides Foundation. Um, we, Greatly thank you for joining us today and uh, much love to all of you. Um, and may we continue to unite our love and, and our power to make big shifts and changes on this planet. Um, thanks, Cassia. Your medicine is uh, so profound and very well received. <laughs> Thank you.